Hi, in this uh, video, I will show how you can use where clause or basically a query predicate um, using GraphQL and TypeScript SDK, how you can make some complex query uh, to a common tools platform. Let's get started. For this, um, I'm going to use uh, to query uh, or customer information using the customer ID. Uh, I'm going to use a work class uh, to query it. Okay, let's get follow the tutorial. The first step is uh, the tutorial assumes that I already prepared or have I worked on the getting started example. Yes, I have it um, in this example. I already have the setup of the project. Uh, let's get started. So I'm going to create a new file in my node project. I can create a new project or a new file. So is this the file? I'm going to copy this of the SDK uh, dependencies and we're going to air clause. So the next step is I don't have to reinstall the dependencies because I already run the uh, getting started guide. So already did install. So it's already there available on my dependency in my package JSON. And the next step is running this to see if it works. Yes, so I can see the console message. So that means we are good to go to the next step. Uh, you already have an API client. Yeah, I already created an API client uh, in the getting started guide in the, in the project JS file. So we'll reopen it again. I have the following code. I'm gonna open the. I'm gonna copy this code and gonna share this. And let's see what's happening. So replace the values, uh, your project key, your auth URL, your client scopes, your API URL with the project key, uh, host uh, API URL scopes and host auth URL from project JS. So let me do that. Or I can also copy this part. I can just replace it um, instead of copying it. So for me, I'm gonna just replace this here. That's where it's going to be. So I just replaced. I already have created those values. Um, auth URL, API URL, scopes, and then my project key. The path is done. And I create a GraphQL query annotation. If I have to do anything. So here we're not going to create, create any mutation, but we're going to create a query uh, which is going to be using a where clause. So the first one is a where clause, which uses the ID, and we have to replace this with your, our customer ID. And the second part of the query is uh, using this where clause, getting a customer information. So I'm going to copy these two values and I'm going to share it here. And there's more information if you want to know more details about word clause uh, you can take a look into the query predicates um, what all possible co combination of complex queries you can perform uh, you can take a look here the documentation in the commerce tools documentation and and to demonstrate this uh, to demonstrate this we also need your customer ID uh, we need a customer ID so I'm gonna get my customer ID uh, from my customers list and um, let's see this is my customer list and I'm, I selected one customer and I'm gonna pick this, this is the customer ID I'm gonna pick this customer ID and I'm gonna check with the GraphQL which is a API playground GraphQL playground uh, to see how it works. I'm gonna move this a little bit so that we can also see the variables, query variables. Okay, so what we have to do, we have to do a query. And let me see what options I can do. 
get customers. Get customer by ID. Let's call it like this or uh, red cross by D. Um, and I need to get customers. I need to use where. I have to pass here a where clause. I'm going to call it a string. I'm expecting a string. And this is definitely well. Um, what I need, um, I'm going to get results. From that results, I need uh, to get email, customer email, and maybe the first name. So these are the things I need. So if you are wondering how did I get to know if it's a string, so we can go to query and we can ask for our customers. And you can see here there's an argument I can pass. That's a where argument. And that's the type is string. So I have to pass a string. So for this, I'm gonna do this where clause and I'm gonna pass ID and for this, I have to pass ID and double quotes. Uh, since inside the double quotes, I'm going to use backslash and one more time backslash. And now I'm going to enter my ID here, my ID, my customer ID, which is I'm going to, I already copied it. So I'm on the background so I'm gonna replace this so that's what it also mentioned in the documentation your customer ID so let's see how it works if it works editor yes it works uh, I get a customer I get the results of one one customer with email and a first name uh, which is that's what uh, this ID is about but this customer, the first, the, the last latest customer, if you see in the customer list. So this is the customer, the first customer you see here. Okay, now let's continue on the documentation. And uh, so with this, um, we have copied this uh, variable with the where, uh, where clause and also the query to get a customer uh, using the where clause. And now the last step is calling uh, the API using the TypeScript SDK in a GraphQL. And let's copy this. Let's copy one by one. I can so that I can maybe easy to explain you what it is. So get customer by where clause. So we are not passing any parameter, but instead we are already referencing that where clause, and we have to risk replace this with the customer ID. So I'm gonna get that customer ID again. And here, I'm gonna get and replace this customer ID and query, where it's gonna be where class and it's a string, string and customers and we're gonna get email and first name. So this function basically calls the Thomas tools uh, API using our TypeScript SDK and GraphQL and it performs the query and which passes the variable where the variable contains a where clause where we want to get results which are having an ID, the customer ID equal to the one I am passing here. It's by the customer ID. Okay, <clears throat> the next is a self-execution asynchronous function. I'm going to execute this. Um, I have to execute it, and this is where I'm going to call this get customer by where clause. And if it is successful, I should see this message with the customer information. And if there is an error, I should see the error. Okay, if everything goes well, uh, if I don't have any issues, so I should see this message, and I should see this message with the customer detail information. Let's see if it works. I'm going to run this. Reckless query GraphQL SDK. Okay. It looks like it didn't come to this place. We just executed this part. Let's see what happened. 
I'm going to put some console message if it comes here. Start. So I can also copy this if you want just to see if there is any difference. I can also replace this. Let me see. Yes, now it works. So I had an issue with uh, my query uh, to get a customer uh, by work loss. So I just updated it from my GraphQL editor. So it works fine. And you can see the result. Newly created view customer info. So it's not newly created. It's a it's just a customer info and yeah, I hope it was useful.